Say hello, it's me, Trina, the medical cannabis patient, partaking of cannabis on a regular basis for our PTSD, arthritis of both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, menopause, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So I'm on my walk up to the post office, I gotta drop off some uh, papers for my dental insurance and for uh, disability. Um, and look at what I see on the way. This it says future for it is my choice, it's my future. Marijuana is not for me. You see this? I see this every time I walk past here to go to the post office or to go to Rite Aid, you know? And it's like propaganda, man. We thought California was was uh, alternative, but it's not. It's not. Is it? It's not at all. Not one bit. So, if you're thinking about coming to California, I'd say think about think about it seriously. Because it's, uh, it's falling apart. It's disintegrating. Look at where I live. I mean, you see how the state of this place, you know? There's a really cool donut shop here called Marie's Donuts. They're really good and they're family owned. They've been here for a while, but this stuff, man. It's really sad. Really, really sad. Let me grab my headphone cord here. Yeah. Sorry about the noise. Busy streets. But, yeah. It's just going down to the tubes. Yeah, it's going down the drain. And, um, I want to slowly work my way out of California, to tell you the truth. I do, because this place is just, it's sapping me dry, I feel like. All these backstabbers here, it's amazing. You could have a friendly conversation with somebody, and then that same person will turn around and just talk crap about you behind your back, right, right in that instant, man. That's some crazy shit. And the people that you've grown to love and trust <laughs> backstabbing you too. Yep. I don't think everybody's bad, but there's just a lot of bad seeds in the mix of this world, really. The cord is dropping, dripping, dropping. Yeah. Anyway, try to get that right. But yeah, this is what it's like living high traffic area noises galore and this doesn't work out so well for someone who has PTSD for reals <laughs> really disappointed my my appointment got canceled yesterday because basically what this does is it sets me back in waiting to get my claim to go through that's what it is and it's out of my control you know I fill out the papers fill out the forms send them out the best I can, that's all I can do with this situation. It's just frustrating that it takes so much to get some help. You know, it really is crazy that it takes so much to get help these days. Look at that bird up in the sky. Can you see it? It might be a turkey vulture. I love seeing turkey vultures in the sky. There was one day I was walking, I think it was last year. Yeah, it was last year. Because it was around my birthday when I saw this. I saw a... Uh, I saw a turkey vulture, like, just laying in the, in the street. And that was just really strange to me because... Um, turkey vultures, if you know anything about them, they like to uh, scavenge for, you know, dead animals. Not fresh animals or whatever. And... 
it'd be rare that you'd see them just hanging out like a, a crow or something on the on ground around here. So I think somebody shot them out of the sky. Yep. Someone shot a turkey vulture out of the sky. Why? Because they had a because they could, you know? It's ridiculous. This way. <laughs> I'm not going to get on to talking about guns and all that because I'm not interested in uh, the idea of taking away everybody's guns. I'm not. I'm not. Because that's unrealistic and that's ridiculous. You know, I think people should be able to have the resources and things to support and defend themselves, but that's another story. I'm almost at the post office. So that's the only place I really needed to go, the post office, to mail this stuff off. It's taken me forever to feel motivated to get out of the door because I low on energy for real. So but um yeah, I hope you guys are doing alright. Hope your day or night is going well. Um it's already warm out here. It's probably going to be a hot day today, I'm guessing. So, um, yeah, do the best you can today in your day or your evening. Um, I think remembering that you're only one person helps a lot with me. <laughs> because a lot of times we try to do more than one person can do. And that's for sure. Because we get pressured into doing more than we can do by whoever, your spouse, your friends, your family, whatever. And so many people want you to hurry and get on with the things like, especially healing, you know, from trauma. There's gonna be a lot of people that are impatient with you want you to heal really fast so you can get on with your life, you know? Yep, but you know what? You know what I say to that? I say fuck that because you're gonna heal in the time that you need. In the time that needs you need to take to heal. That's what you need. So don't talk about, oh, I thought you'd be done with this by now. Nope. Take it on your own pace. So I'm at the post office. I'll catch you guys on the way back. If you want to donate, go to my PayPal, Google Pay, or GoFundMe. In exchange for your donation, I can create a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork for you, or I can create a video based on a topic of your choosing. With that said, brothers, blessings to y'all, and I'll see you on the way back.